Hello and welcome. My name is Kubair. Welcome to the channel. I am a CICC licensed immigration consultant. Bill C-19 has received the royal assent. Now, I'm not sure how many of you do follow Bill C-19 or how many of you have been watching my previous videos because we have been talking a lot about Bill C-19. Now, Bill C-19 was tabled by the finance minister and this has a lot of components of the budget of Canada, which was tabled and for its approval. A small portion, a small component under Division 23 is to do with the changes to be made in ERPA, Immigration Refugee Protection Act. That is our area of interest, that very, very small section under Division 23, which is where we are most interested in. That basically gives Immigration Minister authority to make categories within the express entry so that they can then pick and choose within those categories and make draws from within those categories. For example, uh, for, because the bill is now already passed, it has received the royal assent. Immigration minister will now be able to identify, let's say, NOC-based, specific NOC-based categories within the express entry system. He would be able to identify categories based on where you wish to immigrate once you, sorry, where you wish to live or where you wish to reside once you come to Canada. He will be able to make categories based on whether you are an Anglophone or Francophone. He will be able to make categories based on the fact whether you have a job offer in Canada, you don't have a job offer in Canada. He'll be able to make categories based on how many years of work experience you have. This work experience is in which field, what is the level of your education, what kind of education, which background, which field of education. All these components are available now to Immigration Minister to make these categories in. And once they have made these categories, they can then pick and choose how many invitations they wish to issue for these people. I know it's it's been worrying a lot of people because that basically means the regular express entry draws as we know it, where the highest CRS score has been picked uh, without any other criteria, would basically be out of the window. In my opinion, how I see it happening is that, and again, also my opinion is based on a little bit of what I've heard in terms of what Sean Fraser has said in one of the articles in National Post, it came that this Bill C-19 and the categories within Bill C-19 will, will basically not replace the current express entry system, but will complement it. It basically means if I have to believe what he's saying, or if I understood it correctly, what it means is that the current express entry draw system will continue the way it is. The new category based draws will be held simultaneously, which basically means that if they have to issue 3,500 invitations, they may choose to issue 1,000 invitations under the express entry, the regular generic draws. So top scoring profiles, all kind of profiles, first 1,000 will get invitation. The next 1,000 will be for people who are francophones, whose uh, intended province of uh, residence is, or intended province in Canada is British Columbia. The remaining 500 will go to people who have job offers, the remaining, uh, whatever, I think what thousand is left, remaining thousands or rather in, inside thousand, remaining thousand invitations, they will give it to IT, accounts, HR, professional managements or professional managers, et cetera, et cetera. So it could be any, I'm just giving you on top of my head, could be any of these NOC codes. And that is how uh, a draw might start looking like. My opinion, please do not hold me to that. I'm just basing it on what I read, what I hear. So this is what... Uh, the expectation may be. At this point of time, I know we are expecting a draw on 6th of July. I do not expect at this point of time the changes to be made. And the reason for that is, let me share this with you because this is always very really interesting when you keep looking at these things, right? This is the legislative summary of the bill that has been passed. Now, usually when the bill is passed, there is a date given to it as to from when does it become effective. The Bill C-19, when it was given the royal assent, did not have a date as to when it becomes uh, effective, which basically means it could be made effective at a later date once the Senate decides or come into force on the day that is fixed by the order of council. That is number one. Number two is also that once the Senate is back into the parliament, which is in the month of September after the summer research, they can then come and agree when the date would be to bring this into action. Though the bill has been passed, the bill has received the royal assent, the date of implementation has not been identified at this point of time. I don't know what the date would be. So, But I am not expecting this to be implemented immediately, like today, yesterday, tomorrow. I, I expect some time there. And therefore, I do not expect this to affect the July draw or the September, uh, July, August, September draw. 
if at all I'm expecting and I'm anticipating this to be in the months of October's November's and the reason why I'm saying the month of October November is because in the month of November also the new tier system will, will be initiated into place So the near tier system is the NOC 2021 system which replaces the current NOC system which is NOC 2016 which we're using so if you are for example NOC 1111 which is accountants you will then have a new NOC uh, which is corresponds to the NOC 1111 and you will have to sort of make changes in your express entry if the system already doesn't do that for you automatically because the new NOC numbers will be announced there is also this uh, expectation that that is when they will make these changes not only that there is one more small thing and I am referring to the clause where for the purpose of establishing the categories of eligible foreign national, the minister must engage in public consultation process with stakeholders, including provinces and territories, unions, employers, workers, advocacy groups. And based on this, he can then identify the, the categories. And these categories will have to be, the minister shall cause to be tabled before each house of parliament, not later than the fifth sitting day of the house before, after January 31st, he has to indicate the list or rather he has to indicate the numbers uh, of the categories, what categories they are, what kind of goals they will uh, establish. All that information the minister has to indicate. So the minister has to come out, has to disclose the categories. And I'm hoping that they do that because without that information, this is going to get very, very tricky. We won't really know what categories they are looking at. So I hope that we do this. I mean, I hope the minister does this. And because of this, that the minister hasn't still, or the IRCC still hasn't identified which categories those will be. Therefore, my expectation is that this would be probably towards the end of the year. And probably some, it might actually move to the next year after they have announced or tabled these categories in the parliament and as per what has been amended. So these are the reasons why the expectation is towards the end of the year, next, later next year. In this cross, let's see how that goes. But these are the changes that will definitely come into play. They will be implemented. They will be initiated. And with this, the face of express entry will change for sure. For good or for bad, we have to wait and see. But what it does is, and I know a lot of people are quite apprehensive about the new Bill C-19 and they're thinking that, you know, this will make it more difficult for them. On the contrary, at this point of time, basically only the top ranking profiles get selected, right? So your age makes you lose points. Your work experience has no value. After a point, your education, even if you have double masters, there is no value for it, right? But this categories is going to change that. For example, if they choose to invite somebody who is a specific professional in a specific field, then the age is not going to really matter because if they can identify that there are only 100 of those in the express entry pool, they will invite all 100 of them if they need 100 of them. Uh, similarly, the age will not will stop mattering. So even if your score is 400, even if your score is 390, 380, then you will have an opportunity there depending on your occupation, depending on your education, depending on the years of experience you've had. So therefore, the good idea would be have your express entry profile in the express entry pool. It's very, very important. One, because obviously the draws are resuming. So you should have your express entry profile already all updated, all, um, all valid. Because we don't know. For all you know, Bill C-19 again can get implemented at any point of time. And you might just get picked out because of your work experience that you indicated in your express entry profile. If you do not have an express entry profile, you're not even giving yourself a chance. At least with an express entry profile in the pool, you still have a chance, whether it's with an Alberta PNP draw or with a draw that will happen from Express Entry. So please make sure you have your Express Entry profile all ready and, and all shining and all updated. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please do. We, we want to see those numbers going up. Uh, if you're not following us on Instagram, then please do. If you wish to make an appointment with me to discuss your application, your profile, your background, your concerns, your queries one-on-one, -on -one, then that is the link. Thank you very much for joining in today. Wish you all the best and I shall see you soon. And don't forget to tune in for our live on the 6th of July when we dance and sing when the new, rather not the new, but when the express entry draws will resume.